For this wash and go, I'll be using Shea Moisture's Curl Enhancing Smoothie, Eco Styler Gel, Head and Shoulders to wash my hair in Argan Oil by Cream of Nature, Shampoo, Naturally Straight Shampoo, and Cream of Nature's Argan Oil Intensive Conditioning Therapy, Cream of Nature's Argan Oil 7-in-1 Treatment. That's it! The previous day, I had detangle my hair, getting it ready for wash. And I'm ready to wash it after I have used a naturally straight by beautiful textures. I'm gonna show you how I deep condition since I don't really have a video on my channel on how I deep condition my hair. So I'll be using the beautiful straight anti-reversion conditioner first and then Cream of Nature's Intensive Conditioning Therapy Conditioner. And what I do is I like to make sure I put enough conditioner for my hair to clump together. And once my hair starts creating curls, I'm setting it up for a really good wash and go. That's the style that I want to do. Then after I finger detangle, I twist and I create a large bantu knot. I'll be doing this all over my hair. This is how my hair looks afterwards. Then I'm going to put on some plastic bags or plastic caps which I have in this video. Two of them at least to cover my whole head. I'm going to add some heat which will help the deep condition to enter and penetrate my hair a lot faster. Then I'm going to put a towel on my head making sure that it's wrapped tightly around my head to keep the warmth of the heat in for about 15 to 20 minutes. Or you can go under a hooded dryer. After 15 to 20 minutes, I will take off the plastic caps which you see in this video. And this is what I usually do every single time I wash my hair, I deep condition my hair. And you know your hair is deep conditioned once it has this nice hang. As you can see, your hang, your hair has a hang to it. It hangs heavily from your head because your hair has become penetrated with the deep conditioner and now it's a little bit more heavy. Now I go to rinse this out. After I rinse this out, I will take an old t-shirt or a t-shirt that I'm prepared to not wear right now and gently squeeze the excess water out. You do not want to use a towel for this if you're going to have if you want to come back frizz for your wash and go or any other style that you wanted to do this is a good technique. Just use a a, a t-shirt. After that I open one of the twists and this is what my curls are looking like people. I have no heat damage from flat ironing my hair and previously. So most of my hair has been completed with the wash and go. I've been using these two products, the Eco Styler Gel and the cream and the Shea Moisture's Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I'm going to part off the front and then show you how I do it. I'm going to be taking Cream of Nature's 7-in-1 Leave-In to start it off. Then I'm going to be taking some extra water because as you go along, your hair will might dry out from the air around you. So if your hair is drying out, just always have extra water handy to get it wet again. Because this style should be done on wet hair. Help your curls clump better. Now I'm going to cut that piece in half. And then cut that piece in half again. And make sure it's small piece, adding my curl enhancing smoothie first. Then I'm going to add my gel. As you can see, I am taking small pieces. This is called the shingling method. This is what works best for me. My hair is kinky, so I can't just pull all my hand through this and get it done. I want really defined curls. 
I just take clumps of hair, smooth down with the gel, and let go. If you see you have frizz, do it over. And that's how my whole head looks. I was really happy with this result. Of course, some of the back didn't really get as much gel, and it wasn't. I couldn't see good, so I'm not. I don't mind though. It's a lot better than my previous styles. I'm just shaking my hair a little bit so that it can separate the curls. And voila! This is how my hair looks after it's shrunken a bit. <laughs>